Welcome to Nerd Social. I'm Nathan. And I'm Colin. So we're going to talk about the first three episodes of Titans Season 3. The new season of Titans is out on HBO Max. Previously it was on DC Universe. I, I, they've changed it so many mm -hmm. times. I think D DC Universe uh, was the, the streaming app that they hired after they decided to roll out the HBO Max brand. I think DC Infinite is still a thing, but it's mostly just comic stuff. I actually subscribed mm -hmm. to DC Universe and I saw the first two seasons of, of Titans. I know, uh, Colin, you haven't seen the first two seasons of, of, of Titans, but you are familiar yeah. with a lot of, you're familiar with all these characters. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So, like, so, like, uh, it wasn't unfamiliar to me because of the fact that I am a big fan of the animated, um, stuff. Uh, so I have it all on DVDs and stuff like that. So everything from, like, Superman Doomsday to, like, Dark Knight Returns to Justice League War. So I have, I have a lot of them. Yeah, if you're a DC fan, you can kind of jump in on season three, even if you haven't seen the, the past two seasons. But the past two seasons are on HBO Max as well. So if you want to, mm -hmm. if you find if you find this this season compelling, you can jump back, jump back. Although having seen the first two seasons, there <laughs> there there's some better episodes, but also there there's there's also some episodes that kind of dip it, dip into like the CW kind of quality. And not like CW, mm -hmm. not, not CW, like, like, I was actually talking to my wife about this earlier today because we were watching Superman. The first season of Superman on the CW is very good. So was the first season of uh, The Flash, but then the uh, the quality sort of dips after that. But, but the, and, and there were some CW-like episodes in the first two seasons of Titans, but it was, but uh, I'm watching this up i'm watching the season because there was enough good in both of those seasons to see to uh to watch this season and and i think it's actually getting off to a, a good start so what did you what did you first think of the, the first three episodes of, of titans of titans yeah very three? yeah definitely very fascinating overall i think that uh definitely if you don't know the dc universe you probably if you jumped in you probably wouldn't know what what the heck's going on um because i had a lot of the context from the animated series it was just great to kind of see these characters in live action um and to just kind of uh you know just just see them from a and also you kind of know that they're from a different universe in many ways because dc has already kind of established that these are all different types of universes that they're from uh with the new batman stuff and the new flash movie they're like coming from different universes so i just kind of like already had that mindset that okay this is coming from a different universe where Batman is kind of in the in the foreground, not 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 really not really the F sides. It's more of a Titans type of thing that's going on here, and they are kind of like the leaders of the kind of kind of because the, the show is titled Titans, so so they're going to take the the lead uh, in, in terms of the in terms of the show and stuff like that. So not as much um, uh, exposure to some of the more well known characters in the DC universe. Yeah, yeah, I I, I think that. Uh, for me, the first three episodes were probably a better start than the last couple seasons. They, they weren't as mm. slow. They weren't as slow as season one and two getting um, started. Um, season season two, the beginning of season two, wrapped up season one in a weird way very quickly. And mm. season and season and season two's main focus was on Dick Grayson becoming Nightwing. So there, it, it was mm -hmm. kind of kind of. All over the place. Whereas I think this folk, this season so far is pretty focused on f focused on Jason Todd, who showed up in the last season as well. Mm -hmm. And I mean, without spoiling anything, because right now we're just having a spoiler-free discussion of our impressions. Without he 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 features very prominently in the in the, in the beginning in these in the first three episodes, and I imagine he's based on how the first three episodes are set up, he's going to be he's going to be a big deal for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. um, for people who are who are familiar with the Batman comics and also the cartoons that Colin mentioned. You know why Jason Todd is impo is is very important, and so I, I don't have to spoil it. But they're they're definitely exploring his his most famous storyline within the this season of Titans. But they're not 
they're not doing it exactly as it was in the comics because there are specific things that they gloss over or they say well it's it's not that or, or we're doing we're doing something completely different just as mm -hmm. a just as a nod to the people who are familiar with the comics that well that's not the that's not the that's not going to be the explanation for why things are happening in this show even though that was the explanation for why things are happening in the comics so that was that was interesting. That that was interesting for me in the first three episodes as well. And mm -hmm. they and they definitely have stakes as well in the first three episodes. Yeah, uh, you you don't have. Well, I was go I was going to say something that was kind of spoilery, but like I said, you have you haven't spent time as much time as I have with these characters, so you're not necessarily as attached to 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 them as as, mm -hmm. as, as I might be. So I don't I, I don't know if, if if certain things would have, would hit you as, as as hard, but it was. But the, I, I think they 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 wrote the episodes in such a way so even if you weren't familiar with the characters there was some sort of impact for what what happens mm -hmm. what happens with them and i'm I'm, mm -hmm. I'm i'm spending a lot of time beating around the bush because i don't want to spoil something major as someone who hadn't seen the first three episodes would you recommend that uh, someone actually watch spend the time and and and, and with four, i mean 45 minutes uh, or these episodes so to watch these these episodes and then continue on with the season yeah i think that if you are you've been uh kind of a DC fan in the past, I would say yes, just to kind of see what their interpretations are. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that, like I said, I think if I just kind of came in without watching the first two seasons, I kind of know what would be going on, the characters and stuff like that, if I if I watch the animated stuff and, the com and be familiar with the comics. However, you know, if you have no idea what that is and you haven't seen any of that, then it would be pretty it would be pretty tough for you to kind of get in because you'll probably be like, where's that man? Where's Superman? You know, why yeah. is it, why is it a variation of that character or this character? So, yeah. so that, that would kind of throw you off and then make you realize that, Oh, this is, this is Eve. So you're going to have to be immersed in somehow in the DC universe. Even if you watch some of the, you know, Teen Titans go, mm -hmm. you know, stuff and, and, and like watch that. Then you kind of be familiar with all the characters. Of course, again, this is another interpretation of that type of the whole multiverse of DC comics. Yeah, it's I, I, it's definitely not for the un, uh, uninitiated because mm -hmm. to, to to actually follow this, if you haven't seen any of the the, the first two seasons, you, you have to be familiar either with the comics or, like you said, all the all various animation stuff that they've done done even if yes. you're, even if you're familiar with just Teen Titans Go the characters here from Teen Titans the characters on this team are not the same as the top characters on Teen Titans Go there's like one or two um Starfire mm -hmm. Starfire is on this team but she's cast differently in, in, in the mm -hmm. show and and Dick Grayson is on this team but everyone else is oh, oh and uh, Beast Boy is also on this team yep but everyone else is a little bit different. But I mean, th these characters aren't different than, say, the characters that you would see in the comic. Um, these are everyone who's on the team in the show have, have been on the team in the in the comic as well. So, what mm -hmm. do you what do you think of the casting based upon your experience with the cartoons? Any any comments or thoughts about I mean, the casting? I mean, de definitely, uh, uh, de definitely. This show, this show is, is for adults. It's not. It's not for the faint of heart. Um, it's not. I wouldn't recommend this to to small kids. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely not. So, so it definitely uh, DC can cater to different uh, demographics, age demographics. Mm -hmm. Definitely, if you were, you know, a kid that's under thirteen, I would say stick with the Teen Titans Go. You know, it's kind of fun, lighthearted type of thing. Not not much stakes. Whereas this is much more mature and for adults. There's a lot of profanity and and a lot of violence that that's involved. So mm -hmm. I, it's definitely not for it's definitely for older DC fans that grew up. You know, say you know in the '90s or so, watching Batman animated series or you know Super, the Superman series. You know, on WB and things like that. '90s or, or, or even I mean, even if they're a little bit um, younger than that, if you grew up in the early 2000s watching those shows mm -hmm. or, or, or whatever, you'd be in, in your 20s now, and that's and that's fine. But yeah, it's not for right. it's not for it's not for kids younger younger than that. Kids kids born into 2000s and born born into 2010s. It's not it's for uh, yeah, adults. definitely not. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, just for I didn't even think about the, the the language thing. I was just thinking about the the violence. But yeah.
Mm-hmm. It's it's a uh, it's definitely HBO <laughs> um, language uh, in this, in this show. Correct. All right, yeah. so well, that's what we thought about the episode. But we are interested to hear what you guys think. So comment down below, like and subscribe for more content like this, and we will see you next time. All right, bye guys. Thanks. Bye.